What's up, Pocket Nation? This is Scotty Pockets, and we're back for another episode of Pokemon Region Lock Johto. And if you have not watched the last episode, make sure you click that i-card that's up here. And I'll, uh, But before we go any further, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Subscribe if you have not already. Join the Pocket Nation. Let's help build this channel. And also leave a comment in the comment section, and you do get a Pokemon named after you. So let's go over our party recap. I did. I, I leveled up off screen with the rare candies to uh, be ready for the gym. <clears throat> so we're gonna round, start off the team with Cloak Junior, the level 13 Mareep, with Tackle, Growl, and newly learned Thunder Shock. We have Dunny the second, a level 13 D Dunsparce. With Sassy Nature, although I'm not putting Natures in there, but we'll go for that. Sassy, the Sassy, Dun Sparse, with Rage, Defense Curl, Yawn, and Glare. Then we have Killmonger, the level 13 Totodile, with Bite, newly learned Bite, Leer, Water Gun, and Rage. Then we have Bo Jr., the level 13 Furret, with Scratch, Foresight, for, blah, 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 Foresight, Defense Curl and Quick Attack. Then we have Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel, not Mrs. Miss Marvel. The level 13 Lady Bob with Tackle, Supersonic, and Comet Punch. And then we round out the party with Marvel, the level 13 Hoot Hoot with Uproar, Peck, which newly learned Uproar, Peck, Foresight, and Hypnosis. So we are ready. We are ready for the gym. I think we're. Ultimately, ultimately ready for the gym. If not, well, I don't know what to tell you. Beat all the trainers to the gym. So we'll just go take on the Elite Four. Or the, I don't know why I keep on saying Elite Four. I mean, we did beat them in the previous project, or the previous chapter. All right. So let's take on Faulkner. I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. Pokemon are Pokemon and people say that you can clip flying types with wings with a jolt of lightning. I won't allow such insults to birds, Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of Magnus of Magnificent Pokemon, the birds. See, this is why I don't read cut dialogue all that much. <clears throat> just wanted to give you a little taste of that so you can hear that just god awful reading. <clears throat> all right, so we are gonna do Thunder Shock because you have Sand Attack, and that's not optimal. Very good, yes. Very good, Cloak. And Pidgeotto. This one will probably be a little bit more of a pain. Thunder Shock. I don't think you have a potion, so I think we'll be alright. But you have Roost. So that might be a pain. Although, I wish you would tackle. It. Oh. Tackle and paralyze. <laughs> With static. Or, that could have paralyzed too, but you're gonna let me. We're gonna let her. Let Pidgeotto roost. Come on, Cloak. Get a crit or paralyze. Get a crit or paralyze. There we go. There we go. Good stuff. And we leveled up to level 14. Good stuff. And we learned Thunder Wave. Still kind of moot at this point. Especially with us having static. We get the official league badge. 
So we finally got our first badge of Johto. Yes, yes. Yep, level 20, which uh, we don't really do that stuff, so get that out of here with that. Which is weird. It says that we can use Rock Smash, but you don't get Rock Smash until later on. I don't think you get Rock Smash until you get to that Critique City. And that's already two, like three badges later. Yes. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, first we're gonna just go put some money in the party, in the box. First time putting a Pokemon in the box. Uh, for now, we'll put Hoot Hoot in the box. Put Marvel. Super potion? Alright. You don't have nothing for me? Okay. That's right, mom ain't gonna tell us when we buy something. Well, that's a bummer. Yeah, we're gonna go hatch that real fast. We're gonna hatch that real fast, real smooth. Real smooth like. Alright, so Sprout Tower on the thing, so yeah, it should count. Um, I think I'm going to... We're already sped up. I think I'm going to pause until we get to the O part. Alright, we are there. Oh, God, it felt like forever. It felt like forever, even though it probably might have been like ten, maybe five, ten minutes. It still felt like forever. Togepi. We are gonna name you. Give me one second. I think I have to look at what we wrote. All right. So we're gonna name you Toga Junior. I had I had a Toga P and Toga Tech in uh, my previous playthrough. So Toga Junior, welcome to the team. Great news! The Pokemon hatched. Yep. But you could look at my Pokedex, though. If you knew that I hatched, then you should know what it is. I shouldn't have to go check or show you. I don't think you get anything for that, too, so. I'm debating whether I want to actually make... Or if I want to... Do I want to use Togepi, or do I want to use... Uh, Hoot Hoot. So, Jolly Nature... And you have hustle. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't help me. So I'm sorry, Togepi. You are you are getting boxed. Uh, as much as I want to use that extra sensory move, you are getting boxed. And when we get to the point where we need to evolve something, or we need to get everybody evolved, uh, you will get you'll get you'll get you'll get the call. But for right now. You are boxed. He 
Yeah, I'll be honest. It, if Togepi was a fairy type in this game, I would be more inclined. But, I mean, at this point, it's just a less powerful Marvel at this point. At this junction. So yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep rolling on. Do you have anything? Very for shards. Do you give anything? Oh yeah. By the way, I do need to check that. I mean, I know that when you walk into the uh, Sprout Tower, that the the name card pops up. But I just want to double check and make sure. So if like if I ever try to get another encounter later down the road, okay, yeah. So it hatched. It says it hatched in Sprout Tower. That's cool. That's cool beans for me. Alrighty. I don't think there's anything else we need to grab from here. Yellow apricot. Okay. What's up? Let's get the hurry. Yes, I've already made it past. I've already beat the first gym leader. Miracle seed does not help me right now. And I'm, by the way, I have already got my Route 33 encounter, and that was Cloak Jr. So if anybody goes, oh, you didn't get an encounter. I did. Battle. Youngster Albert. Use Bite. Yes. That was good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, almost like he had strong jaw. But well, he doesn't. He has torrent. I promise. He has torrent. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You're strong! I know I am. Freaking no code your first mon. Let's do this. I mean, granted, yes. Togepi had a psychic move right off the bat. So that would be the only thing that it actually had the upper hand on Marvel. But. That kind of felt like I, I, I feel like it got outweighed, to, in my opinion. It got outweighed. Not a fairy type, so does not help me out at all. It's just another. Right now, it's basically another centrit, and then when it evolves, it'll be another hoo hoo or knocked out. Mm, you know what? Yeah, you don't bug me. You don't bug people. We'll definitely use that repel. Full show. Great ball. Good stuff. Oh. Look at that. I believe that's Miracle Seed. Or, uh, it's Bullet Seed. My bad. Bullet Seed. That's fine. Hooper's not bad.
I feel like somebody's gonna be like, oh, you could have got a Mon and uh, Ruins of Owl, but I don't want to get one right now. Level 14. Good stuff. Shocks. Probably, that was probably mom, but it's okay. Because she don't really tell us much of anything useful anyways. Good stuff. I thought there was another item. I thought there was an item here. Guess not. If we didn't have a water type already, I feel like getting this rod right here, we would actually go catch encounters, but I mean, we'll still, we'll still grab the rod, but as far as using it at the moment, like going back to Cherry Grove and stuff like that, I have a water type and he's suffice, he suffice for right now. Union Cave. Is there anything I can catch in the Union Cave? Alright, so the only encounter that I can get is going to be a rod encounter. Let's see. And that's if... That's if we're, we'll be able to. We're gonna optimize this, and since we don't have a bike yet, we gonna we gonna use our uh, oh. I forgot that uh, <laughs> we don't have to hit select. That's cool. They actually have the sound for water. That works out perfect, and I, that means I don't—I didn't have to like do a whole bunch of round and round because we can't catch a magic carp. That's the—that's probably like probably the one of the biggest uh, deals as far as uh, the old rod is. That's pretty much all you're running. It's a lot of what you run into is old is a uh, magic carp. But we gonna try catch this goldine. And since it's uh, fourth generation, um, we might actually be able to optimize using it because of the physical and special split. split. Goldine. I'm trying to think of where did, where did I catch it? In did I catch one in my previous or uh, my own or my previous? personal playthrough. I don't know if I did or not. So, Uno Momento, let me find out if I have a nickname. If not, we'll, we'll figure it out. Alright, so we did, and we're going to name it Dustin Jr. Why I named it Dustin, I am, I think it was a random generator name. I think that was my nickname, Theme and Hoenn, is Random Generator. So, Dustin Jr. And that was our, our first Cantonian Pokemon in this game. Well, first Pokemon, I can't really say it's Cantonian, but it's the first time you see it. Let's see. Just because I know this guy has, we going we gonna send out a uh, Killmonger. Mm -hmm. 
And there's no stir and the sturdy in this generation isn't what it is now. I wish I would optimize things a lot, a lot better. Eventually I will. Eventually I will. I just had to update our level cap. Level 17. Yeah, you know what I think about it? I think you have a Geodude too. That's okay. We'll just swap out. Yep. Yep, because you only got like tackle and maybe defense curl. Oh, we have mud support. Might as well just speed it up. Ain't no use in dragging it out. Oh, 15. No, we don't want to learn scary face. Do I want to get this item? Well, we're about to. Of course you have poison gas. I was about to say, I don't think we've... I know we have have found one, and I know we... We haven't really had to deal with poison all that much. Luckily, in this generation, they actually... They they uh, debuff it. Debuff poison. Because... Technically, once it gets to 8, 1 HP, it stops. It stops losing health. So, not too bad. Do you have? Yep, you have the slow poke. Let's see what move we got? Yawn? Yeah, we're not gonna stand for that. What, Liz? Don't make me regret taking you uh, taking you on. You know what? Wait, how did? Can you not delete? I know. Oh, I think you have to get full. I think you have to have full of numbers before you can actually. Uh, before you can actually get rid of them. Which might not, might not ever. Might not ever. Yep, give me them acorns. Give me them acorns! Give me them acorns! I like that animation. <laughs> Alright, so we're in round 33. Route 33. So let's see, is there anything you can catch in here? Yes, there is. We can. There's two Pokemon we can catch. And that's one of them. 
Which honestly, I think that's actually probably the better one. Because then uh, I can actually, uh, I can do really good with status moves. Although you have, I'm pretty sure you have synthesis right now. So let's try to catch you now. Chink. Alrighty. You're a cotton weed Pokemon. What? All right. Let me double check and see. Cause I, I'm not sure if we caught a hop it. So give me a second. All right, so I have found a, our Mon. We are gonna. It took me a minute. It took me a minute because I forgot what generation I caught it in. I caught it in uh, Violet or in uh, Scarlet. So we're gonna name it. That was wrong. Skip E. Skip E the second. Skip you the second. And we have broken the threshold of a hundred mines. But yeah, so uh, we broke over the hundred mark of our Pokedex, which is what's up? Alright. Do we want to battle him? No, we don't. Azalea Town. And for our encounter for encounter for that, for our encounter blah, blah, encounter for that, we will have to wait till we get headbutt. So after the first gym, or the second gym, I mean. Cool. I wasn't trying to talk to you, guy. Alright, so we're going to look at our mons real quick. So, docile nature. Dustin is docile nature. Uh, water veil, which will be helpful. Docile doesn't affect anything, so that, that works out. Uh, attack power. Looks like you have a good attack. Water Veil, Peck, okay. Not bad, not bad. And then Skippy has Leaf Guard, prevents problems when the status is sunny. So we'll maybe have to eventually teach a sunny day. Rash, not bad, even though Skip, er, uh, Jump Pluff is, Jump Pluff is more of a physical attacker, but we might be able to figure something out. All right. And for right now, um, at least optimally, we will be putting Hoppy in the party, or Skippy in, in the party. Let's see, who do we want to get rid of? Um, well, hold on. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna put Bo in the in the in the PC, just because I think as far as type wise, it'll be better. So do even though it adds poison as a as weakness apparently, but we're gonna. I really don't want it. I don't want to do it, but we're gonna have to. Yeah, I really don't want to do that, but uh, that's just gonna how it's gonna be. So. I'm going to end it off here. Make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not already. Join the Pocket Nation. And leave a comment in the comment section to get a Pokemon named after you. With that said, I have been your host, Scotty Pockets, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!